All right, so these are peekaboo shots. And I kind of explain it in the drill, but you guys can watch it as well. But um, just understand that when you're coming off of a screen, you want to step underneath the basket so that you can properly see the screen at a good enough angle, at a proper enough distance from the screen so that you can react to it. As you're running toward the screen, you're gonna look over your shoulder. As you step in, you wanna step in slowly. As you come off, you're gonna go up faster. But as you see the screen, your defender can basically make three decisions, all right? And he can either mess up, mess up, or mess up. Those are the three decisions, all right? and they're all wrong. All right, they're all three decisions are wrong. What the decisions are is he can choose to go to the left side of the screen. And if you're coming off the screen like this, you can just curl around it. You can choose to go right into the screen, in which case you would just go to the opposite side of it. Or you can choose to go to the right side of the screen, in which case you could flare to the corner. There's basically no way to win this battle if you're a smart offensive player. And this is why guys like Ray Allen, Clay Thompson are seemingly like the best players in the whole game your whole scouting report is for them. You put Kobe Bryant on them and they're still wide open by 12 feet. All right? This is when their IQ is better than someone else's athleticism because there's no way to beat this if you take your time, look at them, and then just choose a direction. All right? They can't guard all three. They must guard all three with the team and that takes an enormous effort. So let's watch this. Just listen to me at first and then we'll go from there. That's a part that a lot of people miss, the inside foot, outside shoulder part. You watch it here again. So after the stutter step, it's inside foot, outside shoulder. And why you choose that one is so that you can properly back up. Notice that my legs are in position to back straight up. So these two legs right here, they can go straight back right now. Whereas if the left foot were forward, I would be going out at the wrong angle. I, or I would have to twist back. It also sells it. It makes it look like I'm definitely curling when I turn this outside shoulder in and they should be believing that I'm curling right there. So you're overselling this. And this is if they step on the inside of this. So that's how you do it. So it has to be inside foot, outside shoulder. That's the goal. Outside shoulder, and then you go straight back to right here. That pass is over the top, part to the side, straight up. All right, so those are the three choices of the passes. All right, and so if they come off and they come directly out to the wing, you're going to want to twist and then make the pass. All right, because you don't want your defender to stop it or to um, deflect the ball in any way. And if you're on the left hand side, it's with the left hand. If they curl, you won't be able to just make a direct pass. So the pass, you were waiting for it right there, but the pass is immediately high, and then I'm throwing a direct pass like that for the curler, all right? Possibly even over your head. Then for the last one, for the flare to the corner, that one you were here waiting again, then you bring it up, and this one is definitely an overhead pass because you want there to be a slight arc on this so you can get it over the defenders to the person's hand so that they can see it and read it and react to it so that it can land perfectly in their shooting spot. All right, so the way that you pass this is also important. Let's watch the drill. Notice that I oversold it. I, we sometimes have um, our players doing this drill as the defender as well. And we ask them to just switch it up and play it either way. And you wanna make this as obvious as possible because during a game, you can probably just choose whichever. And sometimes either one would have worked. Sometimes you didn't read them in time. But for this drill, we wanna make it stupid obvious that you understand which one is which. So either go like this completely to the side, like this straightforward, or like this completely to the other side so that they know beyond a shadow of a doubt which one that you meant. And it's called the peekaboo drill because no matter what side 
of the cone that they're on, you're on the complete opposite side hiding. So it's like peekaboo. So no matter where they are, you just, your goal is to be on the opposite side so they're as far away from you as possible. Here he is, step underneath the basket. Notice that the defender is having his hands stay in the passing lane. Kiernan is correcting him right here because he didn't go out directly straight. I don't mind the corrections. Right, that pass should be a little bit more on point, a little bit more on, on time. So when you're right here, again, notice that I play defense by stepping underneath. A lot of people will not even catch that. So when you step underneath the basket right here, chances are your man will have his head turned towards you. Notice that my head is turned straight forward so that I can see man and ball. My hand is right here in the passing lane. But most people aren't like that. So by you stepping underneath the basket, this pass may be a possibility. But even if it's not, you gave yourself this much more room to get open. So you can get open here. If you started from right here trying to get open, well, now the screen is gonna be set right here. And then you're not gonna get open until out here on the three point line. That's, that is an entirely different shot. So step underneath the basket slowly and then go toward the screen and then read it. Nice curl, but that was with the wrong foot. Let's watch him again. Now again, you have choices here. Boom, it should be a stutter step and then the inside foot. So that should be the other foot for him, not the left foot, but, but his right foot. And then you wanna step back. Step with the inside foot, outside shoulder, and then back up. Yeah, don't forget to do this in games because that's when it really, really matters. All right? You can get as open as possible. And if you practice shots on your own, these are the shots that you're practicing, the wide open shots. So you can get those wide open shots by merely doing one of these three things and your defender can't possibly keep up to you. Not more than just one time of play possibly. So come off these screens, looking over your shoulder and then reacting as you should. And get some buckets, all right? Thanks a lot for watching, peace.